that. The next recipe you are going to learn is called Sevika. That's a Sanskrit name. Uh, probably some of you know it as Sevai. In the common Hindi language, it's called Sevai. But in the Sanskrit word for it is Sevika. Sevika, as you can, this is the Indian version of the angel hair pasta. Except that it's made of whole, whole wheat. So, Sevika, this has all the qualities of wheat or kodhum, which is, you know, nourishing, <coughs> stoutening, um, it builds up bones and tissues, plus added with milk. It's a very good combination, but as Junior said, you can't be, because it's so good, you cannot be having it every day, twice a day as a meal or something. Okay, this is how it looks. Simply going to. It will be a mess after. So there are two kinds of sevi. You, you can, if you go to an Indian store asking for sevika, you chances are you would not find it. Ask them for sevi. S e v a y i n. Or just ask for, you know, thin vermi, vermicelli. It's interesting about the mantra I used to say vermicelli. Somebody corrected me that it's vermicelli. Okay, so you have to be very careful when you fry or roast them in ghee because they are in your way faster and they can burn very easily. So. So this is roasted really well, as you can see. Nice brown color to it. And then we'll add some sugar to the milk, some saffron, and I need some more curry. When you make this sevika or sevai, after you've cooked it, do not cover it with a lid. Otherwise, it will become one big lump of wheat and milk. If, if you really have to cover it, cover it with a mesh or something. Don't, do not cover it with a lid. Its qualities won't change, but the texture will, and you may not like eating it at that. Saffron, always use your fingers to crush it a little bit. We've already added sugar and saffron to it. The next thing we're going to add is brown cardamom. The technique is to make sure that you, the same way or the same cup will absorb milk. So be careful how much you add. Otherwise, it will again become one big lump. The same way you do when you make cream of wheat. You have to be careful about. You actually add uh, cream of wheat to the milk and not the other way around. So what consistency are you aiming for? A keel kind of consistency. Mm -hmm. So it's viscous and thick but not too thick. And not runny. And not runny either. Let's take some 
time to for the milk to boil. Isn't that really simple? Would this this would not be something you would eat late at night? No, not at all. Too heavy. But spice, but, but spice milk is good for. Spice a, milk is good as a meal by itself. In fact, this is good as a meal by itself, but it's recommended to eat it during the day and not during the night. Spice milk, if you have low digestion, um, don't feel like eating anything, you can have spice milk as a meal by itself. I, sometimes when I get hungry late at night and I don't want to have a meal, I will fix spice milk and it's so satisfying. It's like, you know, I'm not hungry after that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the concept is very clear that if somebody is suffering from a lot of couple of problems like uh, sinusitis or all re related to respiratory problems, should try to avoid milk or milk product at night. With, and spiced milk can be taken in morning. But if things are um, in an acute condition state, better to avoid. But best to have it in this form, spice added milk. The milk has started to boil, so I'm going to add this roasted savory to it, or savika to it. You know, the Indians here may eat this once a year, thinking, oh, this is all like mithai, you know, festive food. But it's actually a healthy food. I mean, rather than eating cornflakes and all those other things, if we give this to our children, I should eat this. When we, are, when we are like, for example, going to the gym and we're building our body or our muscles and we want to provide food to our system, this would be the food. If you are suffering from osteoporosis, rather than having a lot of calcium pills, this, because wheat and milk together, will be wonderful for our bones. This would be the natural food we have. You can also add uh, what? the key that we use for frying, you can just add it to this thing. You're a little shameless with ghee, no? <laughs> this thing has come to a full circle, it's ready to eat. It will thicken mm -hmm. when you leave it. going to have that as a meal, about what quantity would you consider? I mean, are we talking a cup or, you know? Depends on your digestion and your number. That's all. I will never defines quantities for people. I think it's away from like this that. measurement. Yes. So we don't box calories. you and calories. Yeah, no, and box because, you know, every digestion is different. Right. So it doesn't make, it's a fully, making foolish statements that 30 grams is good for yeah. 1,000 people. Uh, I was just thinking that if, if I were really hungry, a bowl? I might want to eat a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then you would know what, what this food is doing to you. Yeah. That's the good thing. You would know what you are eating, you, you, you know what to expect, and you know that when it gets digested, what parts of your system are going to be replenished. And what you are digesting, what portion of that. It's a 15th century recipe for us, and it's and it's mentioned. All its good qualities are mentioned, and it is so nourishing that answering your question well, you won't you'll realize that you're getting fulfillment sooner. Because when we are like snacking and we are eating empty calories, or you don't do that, but when we do that, when we are like you know, filling our plate with lots of things, it looks voluminously more. But our heart feels empty, mind feels empty, and body gets depleted, and then we need another sugar fix or energy fix. But when we are eating a cup of this sevika or something, quietly, slowly after making it, the nourishment to the system, it goes through the day, through the day. You know, so my son plays sports a lot, he's 16, so one of the foods that on his sports day is sevika that I like to give him, because who knows when he'll stop for the next meal, you know. So when I send him from home, I send him with Sevika in his stomach. So at least as a mom, you know, I know that, chalo, something is going in him. So, um, I have a question. Um, you 
question on the eczema uh, and milk. Um, so we, to, um, so we talked milk. about the goat milk rubbing and uh, so... Internal drinking will also help. And turmeric is a blood purifier, so milk and goat milk cooked together would be very helpful. Dry eczema. Dry eczema. There is an oozing wet eczema. That would not... You know, wetness will increase wetness. So we're talking about dry, burning eczema. Here I would like to add uh, sorry, that uh, in case of dry skin condition like psoriasis, even milk is used to massage. There is a special treatment where milk is processed in rice and that is used for massage. Mm -hmm. So externally milk has a, a lot of uh, good properties of healing and uh, skin uh, conditions like psoriasis, it is specially used for that. Actually students were just learning this yesterday. <coughs> This Even is a rice part. cooked with some herbs and then with milk it is massaged. The whole so, rice is, mm. so milk is utilized cooked with herbs. It is a traditional medicine pack that our senior students were learning. Yes, you mentioned that milk, uh, drinking milk can put on weight. I think one of the, some one Milk plus mango, but milk causes bruna nourishment. I think one of the talks of properties in milk was to increase weight. So having milk every Quantity. night, you know, what are the things that will help us not do that? Quantity is important. Okay. Quantity is important. See, anything uh, uh, whenever we say uh, is uh, which is nourishing, will obviously consumed in more quantity will not be good. Uh -huh. If somebody is not desiring any weight gain benefit, he can stick to less quantity of milk. And the one who desires to put on milk can have three glass of milk a day. So but if somebody better. were to replace dinner with a glass of milk, they'll actually be on the positive end of losing weight. Yes. And yet yes. feeling strong. Yet feeling like they've not lost vital nutrition. Also, I think the spices like turmeric and other ones probably have not put on yeah. weight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Or as Sanjay said, you can cook it with four times water and let the water evaporate. And in the process of cooking, we are adding heat, you know. Which will make it lighter. lighter. This is our way of lightening rather than making it low fat or zero fat. Which you explain chapati, right? And the number of times you explain that, you heat it and Then chapati light. becomes fluffed with hot air. So it's like physics, you know. You are about organic whole milk. Well, let's say somebody just cannot get that. They go to the 7-Eleven and whatever is there is there. Is that still better than nothing? Oh, no milk versus that milk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Logically, not having, it's better to have some of it. But I cannot uh, tell you the, I mean, the extent of bad effect it may give. So I would say that, yes, moderation would be the key there to use it in less quantity. Or definitely put haldi in it, blood you know, detoxifier, haligraph, turmeric. Yeah, even when I say that this, um, Highly heated, uh, processed, pasteurized milk is heavy to digest. So it's quite lo logical that if you add spices, it will make easy to digest. So in that case, if you add these herbs, I mean, these spices to such kind of milk, which is the, uh, we don't have any other option, then it will help to digest this kind of milk. Although Whole Foods is now all over the country and they carry like, you know, whole milk, organic milk, and I don't know if Trader Joe's is an all America you know, phenomena, but many, many states. So, I mean, if I, um, when I'm traveling and in my McDonald's tea, I have to add that little carton of milk, you know, it really bothers me. So, I guess it's also like to what degree you don't want to expose yourself. Um, because when we hear about the kind of confined, uh, you know, handling of the cows, which were meant to be roaming free on the pastures, mm -hmm. and the kind of psychological trauma that they bring to the cows, because mm -hmm. um, the, cow, the calf which is dead, or removed from the cow causes a lot of pain, and then the hormones that they are injecting. So as we don't know, we can't we, we can't say that our spices will do everything, but that doesn't mean we won't ingest it, but we would make that extra effort to change our milk because the milk is seriously polluted with um, all sorts of disturbed things in the system.
but yeah, we want to have some kind of milk and adding spices would at least make it more digestible. And when you're making the milk, when you're boiling it, you're putting some good energy. So if you know mantra, you can say that. But that's my way of blessing food. Isn't it hurt for good sleep with the milk in the milk? Oh yeah. Nutmeg powder we can add. Nutmeg is Nutmeg. Nutmeg is Nutmeg sugar. The question itself arises that if you don't have that milk, then is the other so-called white yeah, things the milk? Yeah, what do like, you say? Um, like uh, people will choose then soya milk or uh -huh. choose almond milk. But these are entirely different from milk. Precisely. So it doesn't make any sense only white looking liquid <laughs> is milk. <laughs> because All that's white habits. is not milk. <laughs> 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 All that glitters is not gold. Yeah. In Ayurveda, the food is, uh, the concept is of food is that it should be uh, rochak and pachak both. So it should be digestible and it should be appetizing as well. So just because you saw the label, it has all the right fibers and calcium and whatever. So I'm going to do it. Especially those smoothies on those power bars. <laughs> Even smell the food, you know, because when you smell it, the rochak element, when you look at it, when, while you are anticipating it being cooked, all of this promotes your digestion. Yeah, the digestion process starts when you see it. Yeah, smell your it. Your eyes see. start digesting it. Actually, I gave a talk in Toastmasters once about eating with hand. Eating with hand. Yeah. <laughs> Feel everything. Yes. Oh. If we're on the road, could we have a whole milk from Starbucks without adding all the syrups and stuff? Yeah. And Especially. the steaming method they use, is that en enough heating to make it digestible? I think so. I mean, I've done it and it worked out for me. I don't know how digestible, but when I travel, especially when our Indian relatives come and we're on the road for a long time, I tend to carry cardamom powder with me, shunti powder with me, just whatever I want in a little Ziploc bag. And I add that to my milk. And it's just wonderful. It feels like I'm home. <laughs> you can you can take your, you know, although I don't recommend that making this spice milk mixture, but you can make if you're going to be on road, you can make a small mix for you know a couple of days. Take it with you. Stop at a Starbucks instead of adding you know cocoa or whatever to that milk. You just add your milk masala. Milk masala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I the lactose intolerance and norm that we talked about. Why would a child refuse to drink milk mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe uh, the child is not hungry or the doesn't like it? Because we always take that as maybe that the uh, milk is not getting digested. So why do you think it's hungry? So I mean particularly the child refuses only for milk, not only for milk, yeah. Uh, the body itself, no, the most intelligent instrument. Mm -hmm. When there is already kapha, it won't like milk as a other source of uh, this thing. He will, he will ask you for pickle, he will ask for something spicy, he will ask for something hot. Mm -hmm. So this is the most intelligent instrument which we, uh, if look, observe very minutely, it teaches us uh, what is good for him. So basically that is the reason why it refuses milk. So just stop it at that point or? I think uh, if you think that the other source of food is not giving that much nourishment, uh, half cup of the such spice milk. Lightening the milk. In morning rather than at night. So if you just continue, you can continue giving milk but in this way. An experiment, you know, one is to four, maybe four times water. Yeah, so that would be. So that boiling makes the milk really half, less than half of its uh, uh, strength is reduced. I mean, heaviness so reduces. Heaviness reduces.